In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and true God, Amen. Hello, everyone. I am Sabdeekan Sa Saad. I'll be presenting the life of Saint uh, Bhnam and Sarah, walking the way uh, of the saints with Urha. We will know a little bit about uh, the saints' background. Behnam and Sarah were born in the fourth century, and we don't know exactly the year that they were born. Uh, they were born from a virgin, pagan, and ruling family. Behnam held a high position in his father Sinharib's kingdom in Nineveh. He had 40 knights under his hand. Sarah was afflicted with leprosy, and as we know, in the Old Testament, leprosy was an incurable disease and only God uh, could heal uh, people with leprosy. And now we will know about uh, their journey, finding Lord Jesus. The, st the story starts when uh, Behnam went out to hunt in the wilderness with some of his knights. He wandered off from his group and, uh, and spent the night alone. At that night, he saw someone in a dream telling him to look for an, a man named Matthew, who lived in the mountainous area. And Saint Matthew would pray for his sister and she would be cured. Behnam found his group in the next morning and went to, see, to seek Saint Matthew, the hermit. When he found him, Behnam knelt in front of him and asked him to come pray for his sister, Sarah, and indeed she was cured. Now we will know about their new life. Uh, after uh, Sarah uh, got cured. Saint Matthew evangelized Behnam and Sarah and they received the holy baptism by him. Their father was angry when he heard about their new found belief in Christianity. Of course, he threatened them with severe punishments if they do not give up their faith. And of course, they refused and tried to escape with some of their friends. The king sent some soldier to look for them. And when the soldier found them, they killed them and their 40 of their friends. And so they all received the crown of martyrdom. And in this icon in front of us, we see the angel uh, put the crown uh, for their uh, witness for Christ, uh, for their uh, suffering and not giving up their true faith. And now we will know what happened to the parents uh, and especially the father uh, after he got them killed. So an evil spirit possessed the king. It tormented him with pain and fear. The, the, uh, the worthy queen sent for St. Matthew, knowing in her heart that the saint had indeed brought about the cure for her daughter. The Lord cured the king immediately by the prayer of St. Matthew. The king and his wife converted to Christianity and then the entire city converted. And here I want to mention something that few of martyrs bring a lot of converts to Christianity. Uh, the martyrs are the seed of the faith for, for others. So then the king built a monastery for St. Matthew and the bodies of his children. And of course, many healings and miracles were attributed to the relics of Saint Behnam and Sarah. And I would like to share uh, a hymn 
And of course, uh, we pray to Lord Jesus that uh, their prayers be a stronghold for us. And the, the hymn that I would like to share is in Syriac. Sluf khon aman, behna musara, sluf khon aman, la slavof khon, nishma morio wan hasilan. Thank you, everyone, and may the prayer of Saint Behnam and Sarah be with all, all of us. <laughs>